thought we came out hard and fast today. Um, thought we played as good as we can play in that first quarter. I thought we had an opportunity in the first half to put that game away. Uh, we squandered some opportunities in the red zone with some silliness and uh, didn't score enough points at halftime. We probably, it was a completely lopsided game statistically at halftime. Uh, came out in the third quarter and uh, we, we, we just didn't get anything going offensively. We had a, a, just a bunch of stuff and uh, it just did not find a rhythm. Uh, I thought we battled, I thought we improved, I thought we played hard, but we're still too much of a, a roller coaster ride. We've got to play cleaner. Um, and, and, and we had too many penalties, 115 yards and penalties, PIs, targetings. I don't know what's there or not there. I, I can't begin to tell you, but it's 115 lost yards. Um, thought we played hard, thought we competed hard, uh, thought we pressed in the end to win, the, win that game. And then, of course, on the last drive, there's a PI call and a targeting call. I don't know. I have to look at the tape. Um, um, you know, we still probably outgained them by about 100 yards in offense. But, you know, just we didn't play well enough in the third period. The third period uh, really hurt us. And, and we didn't put the game out when we had a chance in the second period. And uh, you can't do that. You know, you got to learn how to put, the, uh, put a knockout punch in. Uh, but I thought our kids uh, got better. I thought we improved. I thought we came out strong. I thought we competed hard. I saw all of that. So there's some real positives in there, of course. Losing the game is by no means a positive. And, uh, and it's hard on the kids because they really uh, – we had, we had a great week last week. They put their heart and soul into that game. I think that was evident with the way they played passionately. But we've got to play cleaner, cleaner. We still make too, far and away too many mistakes that are costly. We'll get back to work and we'll just keep grinding um, and, uh, and keep improving our football team. I like where we're headed. I'm disappointed in the outcome. Any questions? Mike, you said struggled to move the ball in the third quarter. Just yeah. Why do you think that was? What kind of led to that? Not sure. Um, you know, uh, we had several batted passes. Uh, we got off schedule. We had a, you know, we had a, I mean, just a senseless penalty on a, on a quarterback sneak that would have been a first down. Uh, it's stuff like that. That was that was going on, and uh, you know, senseless penalty uh, um, on the sideline, um, just some senseless things that didn't need to happen, you know. And and, and, and you know, you lose momentum. And uh, but we ran the ball, we threw the ball, we play action the ball. We, we, you know, felt really great about all of that in the first half. And for that to kind of dry up in the third quarter, you know, I need to go back and take a look at it, you know, and. Uh, um, you know, but I know that's what it was. We we were getting off schedule, and with a lot of batted passes, so that that that, that seemed to stand out to me uh, in that third period. Certainly in the second half of that third period. When you have a great start like that, how do you get that mental edge back? Then when you lose it like that, and kids, when that picks up that scar tissue, and everything, how do you get them back on track? Yeah, that's a good question. I mean, you know, it's part of learning how to win. I mean, you know, and. Uh, but I mean, I want to tell you, our kids' attitude was fantastic. We had a great halftime. We talked about the things we wanted to get done at halftime. Um, but, you know, I got to go, I'm going to have to look at the tape to be specific what happened in the third period. But I just remembered is, you know, there were some, in, in, just some inopportune mistakes and, and, and problems that, that were going down. And, uh, you know, you, you just can't have that. David was really running the ball well. Um, you know, we, we, I remember one of them now, we had a critical mistake on the back edge and, and, and with, with capping the edge with the receiver and we got hit in the backfield I and mean, it was stuff like that. Just not smart, you know, and, you know, we just got to continue to play cleaner. Yeah, we lost three off the board on that too. You know, I mean, how do you go offside on a on a field goal? I don't know. It's hard. It's hard. Hard for me to look you in the eye and tell you I have a great answer for that. Yeah. Uh, what was that? Now that was that one, and what was the other one? So we lost. We took three off, and then we missed it. Right? Is that what happened? Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, you know, we've missed. We missed a field goal. We came back, made a field goal, got the points taken off. That's a six point swing right there. That's what I'm talking about. That's what I was talking about in the first half. Like. We had an opportunity to put a knockout punch in. They were they, they were stunned, and uh, we just we got in that red zone and just kind of discombobulated ourselves a couple times with foolish penalties. Steve, you talked about some things that failed you tonight, but is the thing you lament most the fact that you didn't finish some of those drives that could have put you in a different mental state going into halftime? 
I, when we went at halftime, I just said to myself, you know, we had a chance to put this game away and we didn't do it. And, you know, I was hoping that wouldn't come back to haunt us. I really felt like it should have been 28 nothing at the half, you know, and uh, we didn't do it. We didn't do it. When you see a drive like you had to tie the game, yep. your back's against the wall, yep. what does that tell you about your team? Yeah, I mean, I think there was, like I told you, I think, I thought we came out playing really hard. I mean, I think you can see the, um, I think you can see the foundation for, you know, where our program's going to head. Uh, you know, I just, my heart breaks that we can't, we're not bearing fruit right now, you know, in terms of win. But, I mean, the, those pieces are there now, you know, I, you know and I'm, don't ask me because I don't have the information, but we took a lot of injuries in here today. And, uh, you know, I don't know any of the details on that. But we took a lot of injuries to some key players. And then we got some targeting calls, which means they're going to be out. I mean, you know, that's going to be hard. And that's, you know, that's, that's, the, uh, that's what I worry about right now is, is coming out of this run here, you know, before we get to conference play and not being mangled, you know. Um, but it is what it is, and uh, we'll see where we head, you know. But my sense will be we – we may be without some guys, and that's going to – well, we already know that, right? We already know we're going to be without some guys for, for the targeting calls. And uh, I'd like to tell you I felt like I saw a targeting call. Maybe there was. Maybe you guys saw it. I, I, I didn't feel it, you know. So, um, But if it happened, it happened. It certainly wasn't with any intent. I didn't see that. I think one went down and, tried, and turned and hit with a shoulder, to be honest with you, but I don't know. I start getting, you know, I'm not going to get into all that crap. It's just frustrating when it comes at the most inopportune times. You talked about, you know, not bearing fruit yet. Do you worry about the locker room and how they, you know, keep battling without results? Or is there any concern that, you know, you could see heads dropping, you know, consistently without wins? Just, you know, like you say, learning how to win, you have a lot of guys that haven't done that. I mean, obviously, you know, that's my job. And, uh, you know, trust me, uh, we'll, we'll lead this team and, and, and we'll go. I mean, you know, you want to build a football program, then you don't drop your head. You, know, you, you keep going. But might that happen in the process along the way? I mean, there could be some of that. But we'll, we'll keep battling. We'll keep coaching. Uh, I think those kids in the locker room when I left there, they, we talked about everything. I think they know that they saw a real improvement. Do it. Am I naive enough to think there aren't? I mean, our program's culture is not to the point yet where there's not going to be some guys that probably, you know, just like it's, it's human nature. You got to fight human nature. You know, it's two games into a season. It's what it is, you know. I mean, this is the problem in our world today, right? This is exactly what the problem is. People want to say, hey, you know, you feel sorry for yourself. I don't feel sorry for myself. I'm not going to drop my head. There ain't a coach on this program that will drop their head. So it's my job to make sure we just keep swinging away, okay? Because that's all loser stuff. And it'll be my job to stay on top of that. You know, you want to play big-time college football and you lose two games, you want to talk about, oh, you're afraid you're going to lose the locker room? No, I'm not afraid of losing the locker room. We'll go down to Toledo with 32 people if we need to, okay? That's just the way that's going to be. Let's talk about some of the positive things that happened out there today. Let's talk, about the, let's talk about how hard those kids played today. Let's talk about the explosiveness of some of those players. Let's talk about that. Has David Bailey been the player that you knew he was when you came in? It's two weeks ago. Yeah, I mean, he's, he's, yeah, I mean, he's got great hands. He's got, he's, you could, today, you could just see he had, he had more of his legs under him today than he had last week. He's a strong, big back. He's going to keep getting better and better and better. And that's just the way that'll be. You know, and we've got other good backs that we can play. Um, I thought today EJ made a couple of good catches, which was nice to see. We're going to need him. He's going to have to pick up, you know. Uh, and, uh, you know, we got to get Gary Williams more involved. It's you know, time for him to step forward and get on that field. He, he's, he can be a playmaker in there. You know, we got some of that stuff we got to get going.